In this demo, you're gonna learn how to create and add a new bot to a Microsoft Teams app and interact with it from the Microsoft Teams client. Now, this demo requires a valid Azure subscription in order to create a bot using the bot framework. However, if you do not have an Azure subscription, you can use the legacy bot framework registration portal. Just refer to the Microsoft Teams uh, documentation on how to create a bot for Microsoft Teams for more information. Developing Microsoft Teams apps requires a Microsoft 365 tenant, Microsoft Teams configured for development, and the necessary tools installed in your workstation. For the Microsoft 365 tenant, follow the instructions in the Microsoft Teams documentation on how to prepare your Microsoft 365 tenant for obtaining a developer tenant if you don't already have a Microsoft 365 account. Make sure that you have also enabled Microsoft Teams for your organization. Microsoft Teams must be configured to enable custom apps and allow custom apps to be uploaded to your tenant in order to build custom apps for Microsoft Teams. Again, follow the instructions on the same prepare your Microsoft 365 tenant page that I previously mentioned. You'll use Node.js to create a custom Microsoft Teams app in this module and in this demo. The exercises and demos in this module assume that you have the following tools installed on your developer workstation. Node.js version 12 or higher, NPM version six or higher, Gulp version four or higher, Yeoman version three or higher, the Yeoman generator for Microsoft Teams version three or higher, and the latest version of Visual Studio Code. You must have the minimum versions of these prerequisites installed on your workstation in order to complete this demo. The first step is to create a new Microsoft Teams bot. So I'm gonna add the bot to the Microsoft Teams app in two steps. The first is gonna to be to register the bot with Microsoft's Azure Bot Framework, and the next one is to add the bot to the project's code base. So the first step is gonna to be to register the bot with Microsoft's Azure Bot Framework. And I'm gonna do that from inside the Azure portal. As you can see that I'm already logged in here into my Azure portal. Now, once I have a resource group created, which I have my MS Learning resource group created, I'm gonna go into the marketplace and I'm gonna find the bot channel registration. I'm gonna select create. I'm gonna start by entering in a new bot. So I'll say my first bot 11 and just go until I find a unique name for it. Uh, I'm going to leave the resource group the same, the location the same. For pricing to, uh, tier, I'm going to select F0, which has a, a good sizable free tier, uh, which is good for testing. I'm going to turn application insights off. And my endpoint for my bot is going to be uh, a URL where we're going to host uh, the bot web service. So for a Microsoft Teams app, and when we're testing it, we're using the ingrok.io um, or ingrok tool to do this. So the URL is going to look something like HTTPS some subdomain.ingrok.io slash API slash messages. Now, uh, it's gonna be HTTPS. Now, one thing about this is that each time I restart the ingrok uh, utility, it's gonna change this um, subdomain uh, when I restart ingrok. Um, that's what the free version of ingrok does. There is a paid uh, license that you can have for ingrok um, that will allow you to specify and reserve a specific subdomain. Uh, which is what I've done. That is not required. Uh, just know that every time you restart uh, Ingrok and you get a new subdomain, if you're using the free version of the tool, you're gonna need to come back into your bot registration and update that messaging endpoint each time you restart it and redeploy the app because it, that's the URL where it's gonna be looking uh, for your service. So for me, I'm gonna just use my name because that's the name of the, um, the subdomain that I've gone ahead uh, and reserved. I'm then gonna go ahead and let it automatically create an Azure, uh, Azure AD app registration um, ID and password for me. So this is gonna start to provision the new resource. It's gonna take a moment or two, but once it's finished, I'm gonna to go to the bot resource in the resource group. Now that the resource has been created and we're here on our new uh, bot registration um, that we've just created, um, I now need to go in and enable the Teams channel. So if I go to channels, I'm gonna see that only one channel is enabled, the web chat. So I'm gonna add another channel for Teams, and then I'm gonna say save and agree to the terms of service uh, for my channel. Now, what I need to do next is I need to get the ID um, of my bot, and that's the app ID that was created um, in Azure Active Directory. So there's, here's my ID right here, the 707. 
All right, so in VS Code, we're just gonna create a new file real quick for our bot um, app. So the ID is this, and we're gonna to need to grab the password for it as well. So now I wanna go back to my Azure um, Active Directory uh, app registration to go create a new password. So here I am in um, Azure Active Directory, and I'm on my uh, app registration that I created for my bot. You can see the app registration is 707. And that's the value that we uh, grabbed for the ID just a minute ago. Now I'm going to go in and set a secret for my app. So I'm going to go create a new client secret and I'm just going to accept the defaults and select add. And then we'll grab the secret so we don't lose it uh, once we go off the page. All right, now our next step, let's go ahead and let's uh, go create um, our uh, Microsoft Teams app project. So I'm going to do that by first starting by creating a new directory called learn MS Teams bots, and then I'll jump into that folder, and then I'll run Yo Teams to start the creation process. So the name of my solution, I'm gonna call it my conversation bot. I'm gonna use the current folder. Um, the title of my app is gonna be conversation bot with a space. I'm just gonna choose the default company name of Contoso, as well as the manifest and quick scaffolding. Now from here, I wanna say what features do I wanna to add uh, to our project? So I'm gonna hit space to unselect tab and hit space on a bot to go create a new bot. And then hit enter. The URL where I wanna uh, host it, I'm just gonna leave it as the default. I'll select the default for the loading indicator. I'm then also gonna select that I'm creating a new bot framework bot. Uh, and then to say the name of my bot is just gonna be called conversational Base bot. Uh, what is the ID for my app? So I want to use the ID that I actually fetched uh, when I created the bot. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this ID that we had saved over in uh, VS Code. I'll paste that in. Uh, do I want to add a static tab uh, to our bot? I'll just say no. Do I want a support file? No. And do I want to include calling support? And I'll just leave that as no. So at this point, um, the Yeoman generator is going to create all the folders that are needed. It's then going to create uh, the files uh, for our project, and then it's gonna go run npm install to download and install all the dependencies uh, for our bot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the project in VS Code. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do with this, is I'm gonna go update the environment variable settings so I don't have to keep track of the password. So we can see we already have our app ID is set to the same ID for the app. And for the password, I'll just grab this value out and paste in the password over here so that we can use this uh, in our project and give ourselves a little bit more room to work. Now the first version of the bot is gonna to respond to the message of mention me in a one-to-one -one chat. Now, how do we know that that's happening? So if I come over here to source and look at the manifest, we can see that it's gone ahead and added our bot uh, to uh, the app registration. So we can see it's gonna use the app ID that we specified. Um, it's defined it for a couple scopes. Um, in a command list, we have a little help option that's listed here uh, as well. 